Well, I'd uh, proudly uh, like to say that's the uh, Pee Wee Lions, the uh, Mishtaw Pee Wee Lions. Good, you know, uh, we're young. Uh, we had a little more of a senior group last year and they've moved up to the Bantam level. Uh, we're young and, and uh, we're not the biggest team, that's for sure, but uh, we're called the Lions and I think uh, there's a lot of heart, heart of a lion there, so that, you know, they're, they're eager and they're having fun and, and you know, uh, that goes without saying, that's what you stress is, is to have fun and you want it to be a positive experience for the kids. For the Moose Jaw Minor Football Lions to be competitive this year, they'll need lots of practice. The problem is, they, like the other teams in the Minor Football League, have to practice in a dry hockey rink. It's the model that, that the uh, Minor League Football has used in Moose Jaw for, uh, for years, for decades, uh, in the rinks. It's an area that they're accessible, you know, they're, they're pl plentiful throughout the city, so there was enough uh, of them to, uh, to be available for the teams. So the facility was there to use and it, it's something that's been done for years and uh, it's just a, a long tradition. First and foremost, it, it becomes a safety issue just with a hard surface and uh, just because the, the kids are, are practicing on a, on a harder surface and uh, tackling and so on. Uh, secondly, as you can see, it's just the, we're restricted by the, the dimensions of the, of the hockey rink. Kids don't really have a spatial relationship in terms of the size of the field and the size of the rink, so it's, it's a little tough for them to identify where they need to be on the field exactly. Um, and just running our offense and our defense, uh, you're restricted by the amount of you know, width that you can, uh, that you can ma maneuver, so there's some limitations in that regard. The Moose Jaw Minor Football League is trying to correct their practice facility problems. They've taken steps with the local rugby club that will see both sports benefits from capital upgrades. Well, as you can imagine, the transition from the, the current model of the, of the hockey rinks to having a, a full-fledged practice facility, you know, isn't an easy one, and, but it's certainly made a lot easier now with our uh, relationship with the Mustra uh, Rugby Club. And what, what they've done is they have two fields, uh, one that hasn't been in use uh, very much over the years, and then their current field that they do use. And the, our seasons don't overlap, so what they've made available is to, uh, to develop their, their one field and then uh, their current field allows us to practice on it as well. Up first for the upgrades is a new lighting system, but it won't come cheap, and the Moose Jaw Minor Football League's resources are, like most not-for-profit organizations, limited. Well, you know, it's just uh, you're tapping into resources that are always limited, and uh, uh, you know, <laughs> everybody needs uh, you know funding in one way, shape, or form, and. Uh, I think at the end of the day though, you know, when we look at, be it football or anything else, uh, it's all about citizenship and, and kids moving forward in a positive way and, and having a positive outlet and, uh, and so on. So I think that's a great investment for uh, any level of government or corporate as well because you're investing in future citizens and, and why not, you know, this is a, a, just a great avenue to pursue, in this case, the practice fields. To find out more about how you can help the Moose Jaw Lions and the Moose Jaw Minor Football League, you can visit www.mjfootball.ca. For Shaw TV in Moose Jaw, I'm Christian Molding.